Hey, what's going on boys? Ricky here and we're back in Automobilista 2. I've been playing this a lot since yesterday to be honest and I'm really enjoying it. And I found my favorite car. It's the Formula Reza. Reza? I'm not sure how to pronounce the studio name. But this open wheeler Formula 1 car is awesome. Some of the best open wheel car I think I've driven in any sim. Uh, just amazing. I'll talk a bit more during the video, video about it. but. You might recognize the track in the background. I got a lot of heat for my last video because I compared Automobilista with Project Cars 2 and said some stuff I probably shouldn't have that wasn't true. Apologize for that. But this track in the background here is clearly from Project Cars 2. Either way, we got a 10 lap race here which was pretty awesome. So enjoy guys. And we're racing! This is actually my third time doing this race, so I know how slow they are on the first lap. Uh, <laughs> I don't... I'm not sure you can find a more intense combination in Automobilista 2. Um, this car, it, it's its just really hard putting down power. And this Monte Carlo or Azur Coast, I'm not sure what the name of this track is. Uh, Monte Carlo Monaco obviously, but it's so hard, damn hard putting down power. It's so bumpy everywhere. And this car has 760 horsepower. V8 uh, powered. God, it's hard to talk while driving on this track. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so we started from last position. We gained nine spots so far. I actually got him. That is not an easy spot to overtake someone. You saw that last season when Leclerc. Was it Leclerc tried to do it on Hulkenberg? I'm not sure. I don't remember. It wasn't Hulkenberg. It was someone. Um, this car is by far my favorite from the ones I've tried in Automobilista 2. This is just awesome. Sounds amazing. Come on, let's go. Let's see if we can get him here. Tiny bit of lock up, but we got him. Um, this is the Formula Risa. Uh, Risa? I don't know. Uh, it's one of the many Formula 1, Formula, Formula type cars, open wheelers in uh, Automobilista 2. And this, I've tried a lot of them, and this just drives so good. Sounds good as well. I just knew I had to try it around Monaco or Monte Carlo here. It's like real life this it doesn't feel like real life but it this car definitely has too much power for these tiny streets just like real formula one drivers said i don't know someone that said it's like driving a formula one car around monte carlo it's like riding your bicycle in your home or in your living room uh, but yeah this car has way too much power for this track There's no space to pass. Uh, this is definitely the, the spot to, to uh, do if you want to do overtakes over here or on this track. I'm on full lock here. It's just if you don't get to turn in just right, you won't get around the hairpin. It's that narrow or that close. Um, I talked. 
I, in my previous video I talked a lot and compared Project Cars 2 to Automobilista 2 and I got a lot of got a lot of heat in the comment section uh, that Automobilista 2 only uses the graphics engine and nothing more than that um, and I gotta admit I didn't prepare enough to do that video I should have read up on some stuff uh, still thinking about it now I'm not sure I actually said something that wasn't true uh, but if I did, I'm sorry. Um, a lot of people saying that they make their own tracks, they don't use the same licensing. I get that, I know they don't use the same licensing. At the same time, Monte Carlo here, or Azure Coast... Oops! It's clearly the same track as in Project Cars 2. If you... If you played Project Cars 1 and 2 for such a long time, or for so many hours as I have, I, I know this is Project Cars 2 Monaco. Oops, that was not very nice. He didn't give, give me any room though. I actually hit the wall trying to avoid him. It's not my best driving at the moment. So you can get the turn in right here. There we go. Uh, but you can see the survey list, the net code, uh, the menus, the whole structure of the game is Project Cars 2, in my opinion. I guess, I guess you guys have to give your opinion for the ones that try both games, but it's so similar. It's so similar. The handling is different. I'd still say the physics engine and stuff like that is the same. It's better here, but it's the same. Um, God, I'm gonna get, get even more heat for this video than the last one. <laughs> this is not going good. Uh, But yeah, a lot of people seem to think that Automobilista 2 is the real simulator and Project Cars 2 is just some shitty arcade game. Which is kind of funny, to be honest, because it's basically... I should not say this, it's not the same game. It's obviously not the same game, but it's it's very similar. And I, I, I don't really understand why you would say that this is a real simulator and Project Cars 2 is an arcade racer. It's just not true. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, so glad we got that out of the way. I just still I want to apologize if I said something in the last video that wasn't true. Uh, I said a lot that I think. Ah! <laughs> uh, that I thought a lot of the Project Cars 2 made tracks would make an appearance here in Automobilista 2. Uh, I didn't say they would. I said I think they would, and I still think we might see Project Cars 2 made tracks that they will later release in DLCs. Um, I might be wrong, but I don't think anyone out there really knows. I've been trying to Google it, but I didn't find anything conclusive, so... Yeah. Enough of that. Let's see if we can get this guy here. I actually have a pit stop, a mandatory pit stop in this race, so we will go into the pits. Not sure if we're gonna do this, this lap. I don't think we'll probably next lap. Uh, but yeah, mandatory pit stop, so everyone will need to pit. Uh, just thought that was fun to see this guy is already pitted. Sorry, <laughs> I got caught watching the guy exiting the pits. Uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying Automobilista too. Please let me know what you guys, which are your favorite car and even track combos. I still, I don't think I still have tried every track. Uh, so I don't have my favorite track yet, but I, this car is, let's see if we can get this guy inside here. Uh, this Formula Risa here is definitely my favorite car so far. It's just, it's amazing. Ah, that was close. It actually feels better than... Uh, try to think of... Um, the Formula 3.5 in Project Cars 2 is really nice. It's not as nice as this, in my opinion. Not even iRacing's different Formula cars are as nice as this. I have not tried the Formula 3 car in iRacing. Uh, supposedly, that's pretty good, from what I've heard. Um, there are definitely a couple of good ones out there. We're gonna pit this lap, I think. This guy's definitely holding me up. Uh, I have not practiced my pit entry here, but I think it's set at automatic, so this should maybe go good. Yeah, it's automatic. Um, 
But yeah, th this is just really enjoyable. I can really see it maybe has a bit too much power to be good in league races and that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just a blast to drive. I'm not fast around here. I'm not sure what times I'm doing even. Um, but this is a blast to drive around here. I hate not having the HUD on the center screen. I uh, wish I could put it on the center screen so you guys could see. Uh, I find it... Let's see if I can get this guy here. Complete lockup, sorry! <laughs> uh, I also find it annoying that I have to watch... It's to the far right and far left if I want to see which position I'm in. Uh, tire temp, all that good stuff, so uh, yeah, hopefully... You will be able to get it on the center screen soon. Or if I missed it, not sure. What is this guy doing? There's just nowhere to pass! Oh, it was spinning! <laughs> Weird move. If you want to pit there, you may want to stay on the right side and not go left and then go right. Wash on move. Um, let's see if you can actually get a good lap in here. That was close. Might be using too much brake balance towards the front of the tires, but I... In Automobilista 2, I find it, if you put more uh, of the pressure to the back of the car, it gets really easy to lose the rear under braking. Um, so I kept it like this, even though I know... I should definitely use more uh, pressure t towards the rear. God, I'm slow through there. I just don't want to hit the high curbs. They're... Yeah, they're... Are really dangerous if you hit on high speeds in this car. Um, I know Verstappen has lost the car, I think, two times in that section there, hitting that inside curb. Uh, I think last year he did it in practice, and he hit the wall. This is the last lap, by the way. Ah, I was too far back. Be really nice to see Automobilista add soft, medium, or hard tires. Oops, uh, for this car, they they have the hard, they have the slicks, just like any other car. Also, just like Project Cars too, by the way. Um, but I would really like to see them adapt the formula. So you have like one really soft tire that only survives like 15 laps or 10 laps, or even shorter than that. Still too far back. Uh, and then a soft and a hard, or then a medium and a hard tire. That would be awesome if you do some kind of league racing. Just like the Formula 1 game. That is one thing the Formula 1 series, the official game, does right. I don't think I'll get this guy. I'll try it on the inside, maybe. No. It's already on the gas. God, this is fun. I might actually do another one after this. It's just so rewarding driving this thing around here. Uh, there are probably even better combinations uh, for this for this car than this track. Uh, but yeah, try this try try this car out. It's pretty amazing. Really enjoying Automobilista too. I've uh, been doing a couple of light races also. Nothing worth uploading, but just having a good time. It's 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 good. This is good. Uh, 
but yeah thank you for watching guys like always and i'll see you soon bye